Okay, everybody. Um, I was able to take weld and build up a little bit on each side. Again, it's not pretty because it's cast. Cast is really nasty stuff. What you have to do is you have to butter it a little bit, which that means you go over with the torch and um, no filler and just let the stuff float up to the top and then you uh, uh, use a stainless steel brush to get the crap out of there or maybe even grind it out some. Um, again, it's, I, I haven't shaped anything yet, um, but the video I'm going to show you right now is uh, welding the top bushings right there and uh, filling in that that bevel that I made when I machined those bushings on the lathe. So the next video I'm going to set it up on the um, tripod and see if we can get the welding. This this is a real this is a real pain in the neck to do. It's just you know contorted everywhere. I had the big Y pipe in the vise and it uh, just wasn't a fun fun time. So anyways, the next video will show me um, take welding, filling in those uh, those gaps there where I doubled it. Thanks. Okay, what you're hearing is the, uh, the take torch cooler pump. It makes a lot of noise. Um, I don't know, I can't get it any quieter than it is. I rebuilt it twice already. So I'm using 116 filler rod, 5356. I'm using the Dynasty 300 machine. Uh, set at about 250 amps and I also have the down set around 74 and the AC frequency set about 160. So I'm going to fill these in here. Use uh, some prop up thing as a cheater. In the summer sometimes you get zapped when you're sweating so I always try to keep it uh, away from the table. Got the ground going. So here we go. And I'm using a foot pedal, that's all over the freaking place. Here we go again. Okay, that's one fill. Position myself here. Let's get the other one filled. This stuff's really dirty, but it is what it is. So what I'm going to continue to do is fill the sides in over here a little bit, fill it over here, so when I mill it, everything will be flat. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, I got this thing wrapped up. I'm cooling it right now, slowly cooling it. With like a sheet or a blanket. There's a blanket underneath that as well. Uh, I'll let it cool, slowly cool about, I don't know, an hour or so. And then I'll begin the machining process of uh, fly cutting the top of the uh, that flange and uh, cutting in a little bit on the bottom where I welded so the bolts will fit through. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for the machining. Thanks. Okay, everybody. I uh, didn't take a video of me fly cutting this thing because it took me a while to set up on the indicator because. Uh, it must have warped a little bit, so I had to take about, I don't know, five thousandths off more than on the whole piece, which isn't that a lot. Um, it's pretty smooth now. Um, as you can see, there's the pieces that I welded in here and here. I'm going to uh, enlarge the holes to this size, but I'm going to match up with the gasket. I also have to clean up these surfaces here and here, all around, and all around here so it matches to the gasket. All in all, a uh, pretty good fix. Worked out pretty good. Um, took me about two and a half hours to do this thing from start to finish. Um, as I said, if you buy these from eBay, they're going to be corroded as well. New, they're almost 500 bucks. So I think uh, all in all, save me a lot. I have more time than, than money. I have equipment to do this stuff, so I might as well do it myself. Thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, there's one other operation I need to do uh, from the welds on the back side. That's where the bolts actually go through. I think they're socket head cap screw bolts, but I'm just going to uh, spot face them with this um, 
this tool I got, it's a uh, actually a socket head cap screw uh, counter bore tool. So I'm going to go ahead and um, machine that down. Hopefully I can hold the camera and do it at the same time. I don't have my, uh, my tripod with me. I'm just going to come down and kiss it. Pretty much lined up the pilot, I think. Making it so the bolt will fit in here okay without any problems. Yeah, it's about good. Now I'll do the next hole. As you can see, it makes a nice cut. The bolt can fit in there. 